Hi, welcome to the supplementary materials for the programming of art. This part of the uh, series isn't really meant to teach anything new and it definitely doesn't have any new art stuff. It's really just there to help consolidate some of the material that you've learned and kind of act as a quick, quick reference point in case you need it in the future. So in the main sequence, of videos, what I talked about was how to create pretty pictures that look like this. And in doing so, I covered quite a few different programming concepts. So my goal in this section is to very, very briefly summarize uh, the content that we covered as we went. So one kind of thing that we talked about was values and vectors. By values, what I really mean are things like this. Um, the things that can go into a variable, you can think of as a value. So there are numeric values like 1.5 or 1.0. There are character values, which are like words like pride and words like and. And there are logical values, which are true or false. So we can create them like this. So if I go, um, hello, that's character, right? I can even check by doing this. Class, hello, tells me that that's character, great. If I type true, that is tr true. And if I check class, true, that's a logical. If I type uh, one that looks like a number and I, cl I type class of one, yep, that's numeric. Um, those are the main three that you'll encounter. The fourth one I want to mention briefly um, are integers, and this is just a special way of talking about whole numbers. Um, so if I were to type in 1L, it looks exactly the same, but R represents it as an integer. Uh, there's some fancy things going on under the hood, but uh, for the purposes of my introductory class, the main thing I want you to take away from it is when you're reading other people's code and you see 1L in there, that's an integer. There's a lot more I can say about this and especially a lot more things about character and how those things are represented, but that'll come up later. So I'm going to move straight along in the interest of keeping this a brief summary of things. There are a few kinds of absence information that are worth talking about. So there's, oops, okay. So NAF, um, NA means not available, and that's the way that we represent missing data from a survey or something. Null is a, a programmatic sense of uh, non-existence. So it kind of means this particular variable doesn't exist or um, within your list or something like that. The third kind of absence is NAN, which is short for not a num number, and that's what happens when you get mathematically undefined computation. So if I go 0 over 0, that's not a number because it has no meaning. Uh, you can Similarly, you can get special uh, um, numeric numbers by going for, go 1 divided by 0, that's infinite, uh, minus 1 divided by 0 is negative infinity. Um, and you can see that if I go class inf, it says that's a new that's a number okay so these are numbers but they're just not normal numbers um, now I can take on any type it could be a logical it could be character it could be whatever null is its own thing 